new head is just amazing. Now. Walk in here a little ways, get off the end rows. This corner's pretty tall, I mean, about six foot. Whew. Looks good. A little bit of hocus leaf spot right there. Not too bad. Wonder if I can find the tassel in here. I found some the other day up at my girlfriend's house. Yep, I ain't gonna be able to. Not with only one hand. Still got some more leaf stages to grow. Got a little ways to go yet, but. I mean, it looks good. A little spotty right here along the sand. Out there in the field, out there in the field a little ways. It looks a lot better. The one thing I will never understand, and somebody will tell me it's sunlight, of course, and that's what it is, but these end rows here almost always do better than the actual, like, inside of the field. I always just find that funny. But that irrigation's running down there. They are run the full circle out here. So I'm gonna drive up here, and then we're gonna go down and look at the combines. We'll see about cutting wheat later after lunch. That nozzle's broken. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not, but just waving back around. <laughs> like a magic wand up there. That's pretty neat. That'd freak out somebody. See, these drop things ain't bad. I mean, yeah, they ain't bad, but you get that problem, they'll break a nozzle off, so I'll have to go see if I can find a nozzle for this thing. They'll break a nozzle off, or they'll lean over like what that one is, and... Yeah, all right, let's go down and look at the combine. Wow, that's an interesting combine. It'd be a shame if it was ours. Oh. Never thought I'd see the day that we own an X9. But hey, we own an X9. Wow. Big dude. So in comparing these to the X9 and the 780, I mean, the first thing that you immediately see is the residue management. I mean, if you look out here along this field, you can see like just piles of <coughs> crumbles and stuff here and there, like, you know, just a random pile every once in a while. You don't see that behind the X9. It just seems to be so much more well thought in a sense about that. That X9 will give that 780 a run for its money. Now, I'm not going to say that it'll completely wax it. Um, we haven't really put them head in head yet. Today will be the time that we put it head to head. Now, the head, love it. Absolutely love that new HD style head. The wheels on the back of it, it just floats across the field. I mean, it, it doesn't do 
it does an amazing job that new head is just amazing now one of the things I don't understand is something that we already got to fix I don't lose my pliers really they put a metal ladder on the end of that or a metal piece on the end of that so every time you get up inside this thing you have to take hit this button and pull this up not a big deal but I already bent it so now it doesn't close so It ain't a big deal if you're in nice flat running ground, but nine times out of 10 with a combine, you're going through a ditch. So, I don't know. And then when you travel down the road, you pick that up, you flip this switch and it spins around. That thing goes down. Well, let's just say it's gonna be interesting to see how well a tire eats a ladder by the time dad's done with it this fall so i don't know yeah i already had some cab wheat another thing this new hd style head they took and put one entire belt on it. instead of having your old two belt system like what the 40 is and the old 45 was they went to a single belt not a bad deal i mean it works it's pretty good head i love the head it floats it flexes it does everything that you want it to do at first not gonna lie i was cussing it for a few minutes but now that i kind of got the hang of it it's a lot better so another thing though whenever you get into like shorter wheat stubble and stuff and you put it down on the ground and your wheat's really, really short. Your center here has to be up higher. Like whenever you're in the field, they have it set to where it's up higher from the dealership. They have it set up higher in the center. That's so then that way whenever it flexes down, you're not cutting your tines off with your um, knives, with your sickle. So, I, I don't I don't <laughs> beyond me it's but yeah I mean I can see where it's nice like I said I love it but at the same time when we're cutting beans and we get into shorter beans with it all the way down you're gonna start having trouble with that center shoving shoving beans in so be interesting to see And we was walking behind this thing yesterday. And I mean, there was virtually nothing behind it. You're not throwing much out the back. You're not losing hardly anything at all. And I mean, this spreader is just unreal. Yeah. It's amazing. It'll cut some wheat. I will say that. And today, like I said, should be even better. So we'll take a pick up here and we'll drive out here in this field a little bit. And I'll show you guys the residue that was coming out the back of it. I mean, it, like I said, it's phenomenal compared to the 780. It spreads it. It doesn't just drop it on the ground. I mean, it, it was like, that's from the 780 right through here. Oh, I left, left a little bit. Oops. But I mean, like this is from the X9. It's chopped up real nice. It's spread out really even. The guys are gonna love planting into this. Now you can see here where I was trying to set it up and I got it wrong, but yeah. And that head 
how it sits gives me the ability to actually, or how that head is, how it's set up, gives me the ability to keep the head higher whenever I'm cutting wheat. So for one, that's gonna help you speed up to begin with. Um, also, we had to buy a new head cart. Not too happy about that part, but it is what it is. It's all wheel steer cart, it's pretty nice. Um, <laughs> the, the whole entire deal, it's just been a mess from the beginning. We told, or we was like, hey, we need to make sure that we got a head wagon there in case this HD, this hinge draper doesn't fit onto our head wagon, which it didn't. We knew it wouldn't from the beginning. So they brought one down and they was hauling heads around with it, which granted it wasn't ours. It was the stores in Vincent's, those alliances. And they take off down the road with it. And one of the interns left the, um, oh, the pin out of the, or left it, yeah, left the pin out of it or something. It came unhooked driving down the road, driving down the highway. So they ended up totaling out the head wagon. So then we get down to it two days ago and was like, uh, where's our head wagon at? You guys said you guys didn't have one in case we had to buy one. Well, uh, yeah, so we found out it got totaled and then now they brought us that one down from Mattoon yesterday afternoon and Xavier pulled my head down with it yesterday and he said he loved it. He said it was a lot easier to turn having the all-wheel steer deal. It's a lot easier to turn, so. Anyways, we're gonna go back to the farm, get ready to go cut wheat this afternoon, probably go get lunch, and then, yeah. Now it's recording. Okay. So today, uh, as you can tell, uh, we're cleaning out the elevator. We've got our dust mask protection. Uh, it's not really dusty in here right now, so that's why I'm kind of pulling it down, but uh, get ready to pull, pull, turn on the auger so we can uh, shovel the rest of the way out and uh, bring you guys along. So let's get after it. That just like that the bin is done it took us 12 minutes to do all that Kyle so now we're done we're gonna get out and go get stuff ready to cut wheat at four o'clock and it and it is three o'clock so uh, we got about an hour hour an hour and a half before we gotta leave so try to go find something else to do See you. Well, we're running the X9. I've been trying to kind of figure it out and work my way into it. I will say this, I mean, I get it, it's just a combine, but there is a lot to this thing. Um, the twin rotors is amazing. I think it does a great job. If I get, if it was a little drier, I'd clean it up better, but you can only do so much when it's wet. So we're trying to cut these because these are some Jenna seed beans and we need to get them planted. Otherwise we wouldn't be cutting it right now. We'd wait until next week. Um, plus, you know, we're coming up on next week. We're seeing rain for next week. 
we have a dryer we might as well just go ahead and use it and get it over with so we're cutting this we're gonna go probably try to go cut a couple circles down on the field south of here but I mean so far from what I can tell I, I've got 4, 4,700 bushel out here. That ain't that bad. And one bushel an acre, wet weight. Yeah. I mean, this grain tank on... Oh, I better put the head down. The grain tank on here is definitely bigger. There's no doubt about that. You can tell... Uh, it holds quite a bit. Uh, we got the 150 bushel hopper extensions on top of the 460 that it is. So I think it's like 610 or something like that. And uh, it holds a lot of grain. And you can feel it when you're going across the field. You can kind of feel it once it gets full. But yeah. This counter is off. What it says there where it says the uh, percent full. Which I unloaded like a quarter of the way and then was looking at it so yeah I've had it up to 23 or 2400 bushel an hour in wheat still like I said I'm just trying to figure it out but that is already better than the 780 the 780 was doing has been doing like 15 to 1600 all day my old 680 done about that too um, the one thing I did find out is that this head it's a 45 foot draper really for this combine you need a 50 uh, I can you can only do so much with the head the combine itself will take it but the head will not so you just run out of basically power that you're pushing to the head in a sense yeah I mean oh, come on the spreading on this beautiful I mean like over there where all of you was you can see everything that he had spread he just kind of throws out the side and drops it this thing, you can barely even see it over there. The knives chop it up really nice, and it's just perfect. Um, what else? I don't know. I'm sure I'll figure out something where I'm going to put this head on the trailer here in a bit. But, yeah. For the most part, it's done great. The X9 is an amazing machine. You can definitely tell that they built it fairly well for what it does. Um, the parts are not... The parts on this machine are very well built. Everything about it is. The head is amazing. I absolutely love this head. I mean, it, it just, how it is, I mean, like I'm in a little dip right here. And granted, this this right here is a little dip for me. Most people, it's a, not a goalie out here. For most people, they want a goalie to test it, but yeah. The gauge wheels are nice too. I like that feature. How it just kind of sits on the gauge wheels and goes across the field pretty nice I'm go ahead and clean her up you know you'd almost look at this road now it did it just irrigation putting on about uh, eight to nine tenths up here Per round, so that ain't that's pretty good. Pretty good little shower for it. I don't even know why I'm driving all the way back here. There's no point in it. I'm just gonna mess up the road even more, but I can see the irrigation's running, so that's a good sign. Plenty of corn up here. Ugh. I'm a little tired. Yeah. Airplane. Corn looks good up here. Um, this corn always does pretty well up here, actually. Probably one of our better farms is up here, and then, yeah. I don't know. But the only problem with, like, this field here, and I haven't quite figured out why, but it's got really bad gray leaf spot pressure most of the time but it seems to do okay now so
So one of the things we do to prevent that gray leaf pressure, gray leaf spot pressure from coming in is we put on things like Zyway. That's why we've been trying so much of it. <clears throat> because we do have a lot of fields that in a sense are like this where we have a high gray leaf spot pressure. And um, Physoderm is another one that comes along with that. Jeez. So as you can see right here, they've been they've been messing around looking for coal yeah what's so you guys doing today so today we're out cutting wheat let me stop here if you look here here's our x9 combine that, that alex is just running right now our operate for wheat harvest maybe if we go up a little faster we get a little closer to it let's speed up here I'm probably gonna want to unload going back, knowing my luck. I think we're probably far enough right now. We can hop out real quick. Hurry up and get down. Here it comes. Come out here and look. That's a little wet. Straw's a little wet, but if you come out here and look, this X9 does a terrific job spreading this straw out a lot better than what a the 780s do and whatnot. Here it comes again. See, we got a it's, we got a hinge draper now, so Alex probably is playing to it a little bit better. He's he, he's the one who runs it, so. But I'm out here. I can yeah. Here it comes. Let this clear. Back in the cab and uh, wait till we need to get unloaded. So uh, we're getting ready to unload here. I gotta speed up first. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. Yo, I'm gonna get my speed right now. And, uh, we should be fine. Hit his head. So yeah, it's unloading on the next nine. So, so uh, we're getting after it this afternoon. Getting some wheat. So yeah. Let's see if I can't. And you, you guys can see it kind of loading back there. If I can't get a better shot when we uh, unload next time. Well, today we were up here at MS, or Russellville, actually. We're starting up irrigations. Just started that one. This one in my mirror here, and then I just started another one over there. And them two are running. This other one up here was supposed to be running, and it is not. So I gotta go over there and try and start it real quick. <clears throat> we are really dry. Um, the only thing that I think is really saving us right now is all these fires up in Canada. We're not too terribly hot. I mean, it is middle of June and it is 70 degrees outside. So that's a little weird, that's for sure. We haven't really had an actual completely sunny day. Um, yeah, we had one or two good ones last week. That's about it, but.
and we need a rain bad. And Alex needs a nap. Oh my. But anyways, we're gonna go over and start up the other one and um, yeah. Now we're at Emerson. Oh yeah, plenty of diesel fuel. Thought to get it around enough time. Start her up. This is a two hand gig. Should be seeing water come out of it about any time. I'll check it on the way back out. They take a minute sometimes with these. Whew. Next. Well, somebody got a little handsy with the wiring. If I remember right, this one's loud. The fan blade used to hit. Seven tenths. 